the fog of war has obscured the details of the battles between the Russian and Ukrainian militaries. Although the media has access to urban areas in Ukraine and reports about the situation there, much of the force-on-force -force fighting has been elsewhere. This is further complicated by conflicting reports from each country. The Kremlin claims the Russian special operation is going as planned and they are well on their way to demilitarizing Ukraine. Meanwhile, the Ukrainian Ministry of Foreign Affairs has claimed that Ukrainian forces have killed 12 Russian soldiers and destroyed over 2 Russian vehicles. From a high level, it appears clear that the Russian offensive has stalled, however, the actual state of each military is fairly unclear. One commonly cited source of information about both is Oryx, a blog that tracks the destruction of military equipment through open source reports, e.g., social media, Reddit, with each claim backed up by photographic evidence. The equipment list consists of heavy weapon systems and vehicles, including tanks, armored vehicles, infantry fighting vehicles, trucks, aircraft and watercraft. There remains a large amount of uncertainty as to the accuracy of the website, especially since it is based on open source reports. Critics have noted that there may be more imagery circulating of Russian losses given the interest of both Ukrainian troops and civilians in maintaining operational security and morale. Regardless, Oryx provides a more accurate picture of the progress of the war than other sources, many of which show a clear bias. Furthermore, the lists of damaged equipment aligns well with the narrative of events that has unfolded during the Russian invasion and can provide some insight into the details of what has occurred. The website has counted significantly more Russian equipment losses than Ukrainian losses, 993 versus 277.